Hi, Hi guys, and welcome to Disney Day 6. It's a brand new day. Hey. Wake up every morning and say, It's a brand new day. Hey. Take a good day, make it great. Okay, cause if you got some lemons, make some lemonade. Yeah, taste those clouds away. It's a brand new day. Hey. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new day. Okay. A good morning, everyone. What is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna. And I am Corey. And welcome to our final Hollywood Studios and Epcot day because we are on Friday of our trip. So we have today and tomorrow. And then we leave on Sunday, but we've still got some vlogs coming on the way. But we wanted to say good morning. We are headed out to Hollywood Studios now. It is 10:25. We decided to sleep in this morning because we actually rain. got a lot, of, yeah, we got a lot of rain this morning, like really heavy rain. But it was supposed to be done by around 10, 10 30. So we were like, you know what? We'll sleep in, we'll have a nice relaxing morning in the room, and then we will head out to the parks. So that is the plan for today. We're excited. We are actually gonna use the Skyliner today to park hop between Hollywood Studios and Epcot. So we're not gonna come back in the middle of the day. Normally we do that, like we'll come back in the middle of the day, right. change, regroup. But I think we just wanna have like a full park day from yeah. when we're done between both parks, we're done, versus like coming back and then going back out and coming back again. Right. So. We're gonna relax and enjoy. We've also just been enjoying the resort. We've made it a point this yeah. this trip to enjoy the resort, especially knowing the resort that we're staying at. Yeah. Enjoy the amenities, etc. And, and all not that. feeling like rushed around. Except. Correct. Yeah. So it's just made it a lot easier and nicer. But make sure if you are excited for the video today to give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button down below. And turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of the upcoming last two Disney vlogs. But with that being said, my arm feels like it is going to quite literally fall off. So let's head to Hollywood Studios. <laughs> you know that we cannot go anywhere now without these little silver bags. So we are opening pin bags. Do you want to go first or me I'm first? first. Yes. All right, go ahead. Please. Let's see what you get. This is a new part of the channel is oh, pin opening. We already have him. Oh, okay, so he's a trader. So he's I'll put him trader. in the bag because we already have him. And who else? Okay. Oh, this is a guy the from- The bunny collection, but we're not trading the, bunny. the bunnies. So we got a trader. Okay, there we go. All right, so my turn. We got, we're looking for airplanes and the Toy Story collection. Yes. Oh, this is the Fantasia collection, which we are not collecting, but it's a little leaf, so that's a trader. And then, last but not least is, oh god, Leia. another Leia. God, another Leia. Another Leia, so technically four traders. Four traders. Because we're, we're not gonna keep these, so we got four traders. I guess Nothing that's Nothing against good. Leia, but girl, fourth time. Yeah, fourth time's the charm. At All least right, ask so me out on a date first. I know, right? Besides, she's, I mean, we've gotten her so many times. All right, so let's see if I, I'll pull them out. We'll share with you guys the ones that we traded for this morning. We got actually some really good ones this morning. Our first one of the day was like a big win. The, I'll show you guys in a second. One, two, three, four. Do we trade for six, five? What do I have in here? I don't know, you've got oh, yeah. the one that's doing the pens. Yes, okay. So we traded for five this morning. This was the first one that we traded for, which cute. was a Goofy and Mickey. He's really cute and he's actually yeah. really big, so I'm glad that we traded for him. And then we also traded for this cute little like genie lamp. Genie lamp. Will I keep it? Not sure, but I do think that it's, it's a genie cool lamp. Guy. Yeah, I think that it's cute. And then I traded for this little Daisy Cube. I don't know, I just liked her. So I was like, maybe I'll keep her. She's kind of cute. So I traded for those. And then I think that I've decided that I'm gonna try to collect all of the hidden color Mickeys. So I think these are actually really, really cute. So I think I'm gonna collect those. And then Corey, you know, he's a big Ratatouille fan. And so we found we a Linguini. So Corey's gonna start a Remy Ratatouille collection too. It's funny how these collections just randomly start on. They just start, well, I told you you should collect all of like Ratatouille and Remy. I know, I will. it's cute and fun, you know? It's another thing to do in the parks when you're just leisurely walking. But we just stopped on a trash can. 
opened our pins and now we are headed to, here I'll, we can vlog and walk, let me just fix my camera lens here. All right, so now we are walking to Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway because we're gonna scan in and then we can decide what we wanna do from there. Do we wanna do Toy Story Land? Do we wanna go to well, we have Rise? That. We can see how long the waits are so that yeah. I can like sign in for the, the DAS choose, Pass. Yeah, choose so, the waits. I would suggest maybe Mania since we have that one o'clock at um, Orgos. Oh, or Ogas, oh, I was like, this is gonna be, oh, I forgot, sorry. I surprised Corey yesterday, I ended up finding an Ogas reservation for this afternoon, quick for like a little drink. So we'll go in there and have a nice drink, but we are going to go in to Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway, excited, <laughs> fun things. And then we'll decide what we wanna do after that. Yep. And I don't really know, I feel like today's gonna be a fun, chill day. Also, I don't know if I told you guys this, but we ended up, what are you doing, popping bubbles? Popping bubbles. We ended up having to buy another memory card that I brought with me to the parks today because I've already filled 400 minutes worth of vlog footage. So I hope the vlogs are long. I don't know if they're gonna be super, super long, but you know, I got lots of B-roll, lots of rides, you got of lots stuff. of nonsense. Yeah. Oh wait, they have a pin board here. Let's do let's do a little quick let's pin trading and then Mickey and Minnie's. Absolutely nothing will go wrong. Oh hiya folks! Wanna take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you later. Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon or the <laughs> bucket snack before we head on Toy Story Mania. I did pretty good the other day. You did really good. I almost thought now I was going to be your, Now let's beat that score, 185. Yeah. 185 was my highest I think I've ever gotten. Maybe today I'll be able to break, what was it? So I need what, 200,000? Well, or like 186,000 technically, yeah. but. Wait, can I but I think 200,000 is a great stretch goal. Yeah, no, it is a good stretch goal. Also, I don't care what anyone says, I am a buttery Disney popcorn girl. Like, this is happiness. True, unbelievable happiness. Popcorn bucket entering Woody's backyard. Yeah. Oh, Corey beat his score. I did not. Mine was really hard. There we go. Let me show you guys down here. All right, there we go. 231 for Corey, 135 for me. But a good game nonetheless. Yes. All right, everyone. We are here at ABC Commissary. Both Brianna and I got the buffalo chicken sandwiches here with some steak fries. Yes. Brianna also got a side of rice. rice. Now, I have a little hack. If you want something super super filling, extra carbo load. When we have come to ABC Commissary before, I didn't eat here, but Corey and my dad did. I had them get me a side of rice, and I actually poured this rice into my tachos from Louie's Lunchbox, and that was like, just kidding. But let's go in. This is our first time ever eating the buffalo chicken, grilled cheese. So cheers. Oh my God. This is, Absolutely fabulous, you're gonna love this. Oh, you got a faller. Well, that was a good, <laughs> that's why I got forks just in case. And? I love the creaminess of it. Me too. It's not too greasy feeling, feeling No, it's not. It's, not. it's oh. pretty light. That's very nice. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. and I like it because it's not super buffalo-y. How do you no. feel? Do you wish there was more buffalo or? I hope you wish there was Try dipping more. it in that sauce. Does oh. that sauce make it more? I'm not sure, but just by the color. There we go. Okay, so now now Corey loves it even more because now there's more. Ciao. Hello, everyone. We just finished up at ABC Commissary. I loved that buffalo chicken grilled it was cheese. So good. So I'm good. It was like the well. perfect hint of buffalo. It was not spicy. If you like the idea of buffalo, I think it was perfect. I think that the purple bag of Doritos is hot, and, and I feel need, like it was that, just that perfect. wasn't even touching. That. Yeah, yeah no, not even at all. Kick, it was just a nice buffalo flavor. Yes and there it comes with a sauce that is like a little bit spicier. So I would do, my recommendation is do a double dip, dip it into the ranch first, and then dip it into the like actual hot sauce that they give you because oh man, oh man, was it just 
Chef's kiss. And I thought it, wasn't it was too good. Heavy at all as well. So no, super light. Really very also very like, cre like creamy and oh, stuff too. Right. Like I think it had cream cheese, provolone, cheddar. So, like there was a few other like different cheeses in there. Also, we're walking into Batu now, so you're gonna get some dark lighting, and then hopefully the camera can maybe. We're on the dark side. Yeah, apparently. we're on the dark side. We can readjust. <laughs> there we go. So we are headed into Batu now because we are going to Oga's Cantina. I ended up scoring us a reservation, and that Corey's in his Star Wars era right now. So I was like, Corey would love this. It'll be such a fun surprise. So we are headed to Oga's. We'll take you along, and then we have a rise of the resistance is cute so we'll scan in for that so we are going to go to Oga's and I'm excited because we've never been and I really don't know what to expect on the inside do you have any I've photos? never seen the inside of this yeah so, so time for, for Oga's real yeah trade. it'll be so fun <laughs> something you eat. Got it. You'll find it very similar to what you have on your home planet, but there, I think you refer to it as Jello. Okay. Okay. You might say similar. Okay. It's Jello. Okay. Okay. And there are some snacks in the bottom. Of the cool. Check it out. You find anything here? You got anything from Chris? That's John. Is that okay. Thank you. Any alcohols? Ready? Cheers. I got the Hyperdrive Punch It, non-alcoholic Powerade. White cranberry juice, black cherry puree, and Sprite, right up my alley. You got the fuzzy tom tom. I got the fuzzy tom tom alcohol, right? Yes. Um, with Kettle One, Botanical Peach, and Orange Vodka. Peach schnapps, liqueur, orange juice with tangerine, uh, pure cane sugar, and a buzz button tingling, tingling foam. foam. Cheers. Hi kids, we are, my mom always says that. Hi kids, when she sees us. But we are walking now back towards Sunset Boulevard. Oga's, amazing. amazing. That so was fun. such a fun, cool, incredible experience. Great we were only in there for like 25 yeah. minutes. But great drinks, yes. such a cool vibe in there. Oh my God, Loved did I absolutely there. love it. So we are definitely 100% gonna be going back absolutely. to Oga's again. And I, there's was a lot of reservations, so I think what you can do is just look on the day of or the day before if you're trying to catch a reservation or a drink and to go in because it was honestly really easy to find one, so I would recommend that. And then we did Rise of the Resistance, but I didn't vlog it because we just wanted to actually enjoy, enjoy it because I vlogged it the other day. And now we are doing some pin trading. We haven't caught any good ones yet, but we can go to that board and catch some. And we're gonna do our last once stroll down Sunset Boulevard and then we are headed off to Epcot for the evening slash night. It is, let me give you the time. Let me check my watch. 2.17, yeah, 2.20. So after this, we are gonna take the Skyliner, our one and only time on the Skyliner this trip because we're staying on the monorail. But we are very excited to go to Epcot later on this afternoon in the next like 30-ish minutes or so. Yeah. So we've got our final pin trading and then we'll be saying goodbye to Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. So yes. let's go see if we can get any good pins because right now I'm feeling like Pin boards are a little bland. Yep. They're a little bland. Just saying goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Hollywood Tower Hotel. We have no idea when we'll see you next, which is the worst part. Because I'm going to go home and say to Corey, okay, let's book the next trip. Because normally. Worry. Brianna's already asked me to extend. Yeah, I'm like, can we extend for just one day? And he's like, no, Brianna, we cannot. Okay, I did not say it like that. He's kicking the magic right down. I did not say it like that. I know. Well, we are saying goodbye to the beautiful Hollywood Tower Hotel. Goodbye to Corey's absolute favorite park. Giving her a kiss. And now we are on to Epcot and we are completing some more pin trading. But to Hollywood Tower Hotel, we love you and goodbye. I'm in love. 
Corey is doing our last stop before we head to Epcot. We always come in here and do one final, well actually we have one more after this, but our final pin trade, or our second to last. Let's see what they got. Okay. Oh, do I have that pink one? Oh, here we go. Woody in the Skyliner. Oh, Woody in the Skyliner. Yeah. And I want the yeah. Peter Pan. I'll take him. He's cute. Kind of That's cute. All right, so which ones do we want? Woody Skyliner. Okay. Take them off. Do we have that pink face mini? I don't think so. No? Actually, is it orange or pink? Um, I don't know, should I check quick? Yeah. Okay. So we've taken that one, and we are 100% taking that Peter Pan, because he is cute. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Corey did an outfit change. We have made it to Epcot. Our popcorn bucket is swaying in the wind. Olaf is holding on for dear life. And we are ready for an Epcot afternoon. So let's do it. Bonjour. Bonjour. We are in France. Yes, we are. We have food. Yes, we do. What did we get? We got the $2.75 half baguette from France with the salted butter. So this is a deal. I've always wanted to try this. And then we also went to that bakery and got the macaron, which has lime and raspberry, I think it said, which looks, looks absolutely, absolutely to die. to die for. What should we start with? Should I start with the macaron or the bread? Bread. Start with the bread. Should I just like rip it right down the middle? Rip it and rip. And then the butter's not, oh yeah, it's kind of soft. Thank you. You're right. I have heard about this like Disney snack hack because it is so cheap. You can get a full baguette for, what was it? Like, it was $5, something like that. Oh, I thought it was three seventy. Oh no, I'm sorry, no. It's three, yeah, something yeah. like that, sure. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna take a bite out. <laughs> I love bread. Some good bread. Whenever you're bread. ready. Yeah, no, it's good. yeah. Bread. it was delicious. Bread, carrots, and salt. Yeah. Now we have the macaron here. Which is so cute. Oh. Can't wait. So I'll try to give us a whirl. Is it really good? I'm so excited to try it. The lime is not overpowering, but it's like a nice. Yeah. Nice flavor that like you notice. Does it, it give it like a little oh, bit man, of the yeah. the fresh raspberry with the pops of yeah. the balls from it? Oh so good. Alright, I wanna try now too. Just be careful it's soft on the bottom there. We, we gotta get the other. Oh, okay. Alright, ready? Same. Yep. I think the Is that fun, Scarlet? Ooh. I also think there's a jam on the inside. It felt it felt it as well, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good, so refreshing, so light. Mm. I actually really like it. All right, so we are starting our Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival afternoon, and Corey is starting with the Mediterranean flatbread from Morocco. We are also doing, I was trying to see if it was in the book. I don't remember what page it was on. It's like, it's in here somewhere, like around this area. Right here, the... Mediterranean warm flatbread with churmula, roasted vegetables, artichokes, olives, and feta cheese. This was a Main Street dish favorite, so let's see if you like it. Give it a go. There's a lot of fresh, fresh like spinach, fresh, fresh veggies, yeah. yeah. And it was only six dollars. I feel like that's pretty good. I was gonna say, throw a big piece of spinach on there. Oh, perfect. A one bite, and you probably got a lot on there. You will like the bread because it's thin. Oh, I like thin, yeah, I like thin crust, like thin bread, pizza kind of stuff. A lot of veggie going on. I yeah. love the taste of a sun dried tomato. You get the artichoke. Yeah. You get like the spices that you have on it. Not enough, not a lot of feta that I tasted. Yeah. And then not the olive, and I didn't really taste the olives, so I'm not really an olive person. Yeah, you might actually you might like actually it. actually enjoy this. Yeah. I'm gonna give this on a line, on an initial thought process. Yeah. Give us an eight. Eight out of ten? Yeah. That's pretty good. I think this is by far one of the most beautiful 
topiaries because it is all individual little beautiful succulents and of course you get the pretty Epcot ball behind it so I just feel like this is incredible we just did a little bit of shopping let's go find oh there he is where's Waldo can anyone spot Corey in the crowd can anyone spot him oh bust him show him your moves buddy yeah, shake it. Okay, well, we are off and headed towards the America Pavilion now. Corey just did some shopping and got his, what'd you get, the mochis? Off, yeah, yes. the mochis, yeah. We put them in the bag. Look at the bag, how big it is, because we've been it's shopping all day. Oh, no, and me. yeah, Corey got two shirts today and his mochis and a pin and mystery pins, because he's just, yeah, Corey's on. Corey's on Disney vacation. He's yeah, he's just rocking it. Budgets do not pertain. Yeah, budgets don't pertain when we come to Disney. Contrary to popular belief. Yeah. Also, really quickly, you guys, I had to change my memory card because I filled up an Ran entire 128 gigabyte mem 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 memory card. Memory card. And I hope that the like footage is the same as on this memory card as it is the other yeah. one. So we're gonna look, we're in the American Adventure Pavilion now. I wanna see if they have any little pin boards around and we might buy, maybe you could buy another silver pin pack. Sweet. What do you think? Let's do it. Yay! Okay, so we just stumbled upon the most gorgeous topiary ever. Oh my God, look how beautiful Tiana is. She is a queen among us. Hello everybody, Corey's got his uh, grapefruit shandy, the shop Schaffenhofer. Schaffenhofer, yeah. Heffenweisen. Heffenweisen, Corey's favorite beer to get in the Germany Pavilion in Epcot. They also had the cutest mug. I wish we were here for Christmas because what I would have done was got it. I thought about getting it now, but I was like, you know what? I don't need it now. There's no need. No need so for now another we're just mug. For Christmas. So now we I said to Corey, well, why don't we just come in December and that'll give me a good excuse to buy it. As we also talked today about how we Honestly, wanted to come really for the holiday season anyway. anyway but so. we were gonna do a quick just check-in because I haven't filmed Frozen yet for the vlogs and today we, we are gonna change that. No, oh. we've only written it one wow. time. So today is our second. Subscribers yeah, I know. So, so we are going to vlog Frozen today. So let's go see Anna and Elsa. It's Finn. I also have my little, my Bruni, and oh, he oh, is oh, oh, ready oh, for and, Frozen. And and oh, and Olaf. Yeah. So we are ready to ride Frozen, <laughs> and you're doing a full 360. <laughs> Oh, you just spilled. <laughs> Corey is drinking a margarita over here. Find me if you can see him. Here he is, hi. We just came to the, what is the name of this? It's not one of the Mex, like it's not a food booth, but it is Choza de Margaritas, where you can get all the frozen margaritas. Okay, I did not know that they had a lote, which is street corn. Like I'm the corn queen, so I am so excited to try this. It was $8, it's got tahini like spicy mayo and all the good deeds and you can like roll it around and even more coquita cheese. So, cheers to trying a new fun Disney snack. Let's give it a go. Whoa. Oh, oh. Juicy. Oh, see? This is gonna take the place of my RIP Animal Kingdom corn. You wanna try a bite? No, thank you. You enjoy that, love. This is giving no notes. It's giving 10 out of 10. Absolutely delicious. Juicy, just, oh, so good. On to the next spot. We are Hola. at Jardin de Fiestas, which is the booth in Mexico, and we got the tamale. And this is one of the things that Bethany Vinton recommended that was really good. So we're gonna go for it. And I feel like it's, I don't, have I ever had a tamale before? I don't think I've ever had one either. Was it just like, oh, is it, is it ground? What? I guess. I think I'm kind of freaked out. I'm not gonna lie. 
That's American. Okay, I'll plop that with them. Okay. I think I could probably use a little salt. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, so there's peppers on the inside. I didn't get a pepper the first time. I knew that. Okay, so let's try again. Okay. All right. I see what's going on here. I, I enjoy it. After I had the pepper, I think I enjoy it. I just never, I didn't expect it to be, because I've never had something like this, I didn't expect it to be ground. To be honest, it's a whole lot of mush for me. It is. I don't know if I'm into it. I think I like the flavors, but I don't know if I like the texture. Honestly, that's the problem. It tastes fine. Yeah, it very tastes like good. a nice dip. Give me like a chip. <laughs> and then it would be perfect. Be great. It's just, I can't, it's like I'm just eating a fork of hummus. But yeah. that's really the consistency that I'm getting here. But it tastes lovely. Yeah. Like you get the poblano. I had a little bit with the pickled onion in it, in that, so that was nice. I'm gonna give it. Give it a six. I'm giving it two ratings. One, solely based on the taste, and it's getting an 8.5. Because I think it tastes fabulous. Like I think it tastes so good. That's fine. In terms of though, like the texture, I'm gonna give it like a six, because I don't know if I like textures like that, like more no, mush. Yeah. So I think on average, this would be like a seven, 7.5 for me. Because to your point, if I had a tortilla chip, this would be a 10 out of 10. I think it's just like the texture is off for the both of us, but I, I've never had a tamale before. I've never had so a tamale, I so I, I guess I didn't, know, I didn't know what to expect, so. Yeah. For anyone who makes tamales and likes tamales, I'm very sorry that I just unaware of what I'm supposed to be enjoying here, so I'm just truly basing it off of texture-wise. Yeah. I'm not but I do have to say, yeah, I, I don't not like it for the flavor, I am weirded out by the texture, and right. I feel like I'm talking bad about it. But I just assumed it was just going to be like my six, more is a like harsh an enchilada. Six. But I think, yeah, I think my six yours is, a, is a little harsh. Six. Yeah, because I think it's pretty good. Like I really do. I, I mean, we took down over half to it. Like it's pretty good. I mean, because we're, like, we're just eating it to be like yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. Corey's like six. I'm like you've eaten half. Five, <laughs> seven. I think it's just I think it's a solid Real seven. Sad. Like. I think if I had a chip, it would be even better, and I think the pickled onion makes it better because it gives it a little thing. I like thing. the pickled onion. I like it's pickled really, onion. really good. Yeah. So, that was very delicious. We are now off to This margarita is a town. Yes, Maybe that we one. are now off to Soren. Maybe we'll then Moana. Yeah, Soren. Maybe Moana Journey of Water. We have a few Maybe more things. Maybe living with the land. Living with the land. Yeah, we have a few more things on our food list that we want to do. Oh, okay. One thing that Corey and I are doing, and I think is a really fun little keepsake, always you have your flower and garden books. However, something that Corey and I love to do is when we try something, we always put the rating of what we would give it in the book, and then we save the book, and I think that's just a really cute little And then we talk about it keepsake. in the podcast. Yeah, and then we talk about it, and I just think it's kind of fun, and a cute little idea, right? A little keepsake that is not very big, and it doesn't cost anything, you just bring a pen to the festival. So, off to Soren, Moana some food you'll see what happens next because i don't really know where we're off to just we're yet. going somewhere we're going somewhere all right we transitioned transitioned we transitioned to the phone because it is starting to rain a little bit so we just left the camera in the bag because it just made the most sense but we got the grilled lobster tail with the key lime butter and we are both very excited to try it it's 11.25 which i actually think is a pretty good deal for a lobster tail. Yeah, that's like, I think that's what you were saying for the time. Oh no, I was like, 11, that's what I'm sorry, wrong. For the, no. Um, we used, yeah, I was gonna say get the fresh lemon on there. Corey's getting the, oh, my water bottle is in the way. Good? Not too much. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Don't go too crazy. All right. Oh, we're getting some wetness. Hold on. Okay, red ping. Oh. That is so good. Oh, another fry. Ooh, that is really, really good. That key lime butter is incredible. The mm. nice char from the grill. Oh my god. The pressure from the lime is so nice. Mm. That was lemon. No, but the lime and the butter. Oh. Oh my god, 10 out of 10, no notes for me. All right, on the phone again because it's still raining a little bit, but we just went to, what was this one? The Farmer's Feast? Farmer's Feast. Farmer's That's Feast. And we got the English pea risotto with veal and the little red, red wine reduction. So Corey, if you want to cut into it, you can try it first. Move that out of the way. And yes, we're back on the phone because of the rain and I was nervous about, whoa, not a, not a practical bowl for cutting. There we go. A little bit of everything. Why'd you eat on your fork backwards, honey? Oh, you went through, it looks like a mix of emotions. I couldn't figure out like the flavors. Oh, okay. Like the I said, risotto, it might be a little bit watered because of the rain. No, the risotto okay. is insanely creamy. 
Yeah, that's good. good. The beef is actually cooked very nicely. The veal. Yeah. I really enjoy it. I'll give it. Um, I'll give it an eight. Eight. Yeah. All an right. Honest and short review. That's good. Got a little bit. Did you get any of the wet red yes. wine stuff? Yes. Yes. This is like scraping the bottom. Mmm. Very good. That risotto is fab for a food booth. Really, really good. Okay, everyone, we are on our way to scan in for our lightning lane for Guardians because our boarding group Again. just got called. And then after that, we are heading back into Connections because we are picking up our Epcot mug because we're collecting Beautiful. the Starbucks Been There series. And so that's going to be our Pins are overrated. Evening. Yeah, it's pins, all about the mugs. All about the mugs. Yeah, now we're collecting mugs. So we are doing that, and then we are actually going to head out of the park and do dinner at the Polynesian. So fingers crossed for September because that's what I want. Do you remember? I just want the twenty first or Kaka. I just don't want everybody wants a reward. Yeah, <laughs> we got that last time, and I do not like it. Okay, you guys, still on the phone because it was drizzling, and I did not feel like getting the camera out of the bag. So sorry if the audio quality or the whatever is not all that great. But we are leaving Epcot. Goodbye, that beautiful Epcot ball. I will miss you, my favorite park. And we are headed back to the Poly. What time is it? Was your watch or phone say? Eight oh something. Eight. Eight o'clock, basically. We had a long, beautiful day in Hollywood Studios and Epcot. And now we are headed back to the Polynesian because we are gonna do quick service for dinner because we just didn't feel like staying in Epcot anymore. We're both kind of, both tired, both beat, both ready to it's go. Be a long day yeah, we got a long Magic Kingdom last day tomorrow. So final wave to the beautiful girl. Love you, miss you, see you, I don't know when. But back to the Poly we go. Our little girl got her carrots. They didn't come with it, and I was like, Corey, you're gonna have to ask him to go get the carrots because it didn't come with it. And he was like, Ugh. I had like a child as a friend. And I was like, you know what? I want the carrots. That's, I'm very excited about the carrots. So we are back at our favorite Captain Cooks. We've eaten here like five times on this trip, which we're very happy about. It's delicious. I got a kid's just cheeseburger with lettuce and pickle and french fries, and of course, the infamous carrot sticks that Chris is complaining about and a Powerade, and that is my dinner. And I got the spicy Korean chicken bowl again because it was just that absolutely delicious. When did you get it last delicious. night? I got it last night. Yeah. So, we're gonna enjoy dinner, and let me show you something. You guys can see those two little red dots back there, and it's because we are watching fireworks right from dinner tonight. And that, my friends, is a true win of being at a Magic Kingdom resort. Brianna just couldn't wait to tell you. It was, <laughs> So she started melting. eating. The melting, eating, excitement, yeah. everything. A swirl with, which is the pineapple Dole Whip and the vanilla ice cream. And I got the same as last night, the Why? pineapple. Mine would have been that size. This could feed the Yeah, she skimped out on me. I was annoyed. Well, don't worry. You can have some of mine because there's no way I'm going to eat. Thank you. You do already know the drill. You already know the drill. Silver pin pack. So we are going to do a little bit of pin trading before the end of the night. And so Corey is going to go first. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's a plane. <gasps> oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Which one is it? Who is it? Let me see. It's the orange bird. Orange bird. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Oh, and it's blurry. I want to get it to focus. Oh my gosh, we don't have Orange Bird yet. Yay! Oh so God, not a traitor. So cute. All so right. So cute. And then lastly, oh, wow, another Rare Rex. Oh, and another Rare Rex completer. There we you go. We are about to make someone very happy. Because we already have a Rex. Okay. We want a new plane or a new Toy Story or something. Okay. <gasps> Luke Skywalker. <gasps> Keep we it. We do not have him. Okay. We do not have him. And then ready the next one. It's a it's a star. Ready? Oh. What are you? It's from the Fantasia collection. Oh, cute. But that one's a trader because we are not collecting Fantasias. So we got two traders and two keepers. Amazing. All right. So so far we have three airplanes and Luke and Leia. Luke and Leia. So that's pretty good. All right. Let's go do some trading. Let's do three favorites of the day. Do you want to go first or me go first? I went first yesterday. Okay. So it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my first favorite was in no particular order. My first favorite was again pin trading today. Like I just love. Pin you can roll your eyes, but I just I love pin trading. I've been enjoying pin trading so much. So I love that. My second favorite of the day was we got Conga on Guardians. I don't know if we said that. It was which good. was the one of the Honestly, songs that it was I wanted. Fun. It yeah. Was fun. We I either didn't... wanted Conga or. September we got the Kong. first time we ever got Conga I was like ah, I wasn't really into it but I don't know I was vibing I, with yeah it I like Conga and then I would say my third favorite of the day was oh actually fun little plug. riding the Skyliner fun little plug comment in the comments if you were to 
replace a song and what song would you replace, replace it, it with, with? On i Guardians. think that would be That's fun, a fun to, comment that'd be yeah. fun to if to you've learn. made it this far in the video and i'm sorry vlog. what was the last one that you said uh riding a skyliner nice because we haven't written that on our entire trip uh number one Your for trip. me was ogus oh i forgot we ogus feels like literally a hundred years ago, years ago. <laughs> and it was in the same video such a cool place yeah if you have the opportunity to get a reservation get one it's, get one. it's really cool. it was really there. cool even if you're not a star wars person it was just really it's cool such a fun. cool vibe in there the drinks are spectacular so yes. if you just want a fun cocktail and also for the kiddos or people who are not into alcohol yeah I don't a drink, plethora so. of non-alcoholic fun drinks fun drinks as well. yeah um cool number two was right in the skyliner that just brought back so many memes yeah that, we haven't been on the skyliner that's, all trip. that's easily our favorite form of transportation and we always stay on really the skyliner. really cool really cool to, yeah. to do it um and then number three was um Honestly, just like being able to like go through Flower and Garden a little bit. And oh, just being that able was to so fun. Enjoy the food and the utopia yeah. as well. So it was really fun. I love that. My hair is also crazy and wacky. But with that being said, we are ending tonight's vlog. So make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button down below. And turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of the upcoming Disney vlogs and just regular vlogs in general. But we are headed on our last and final park day tomorrow, full day at Magic Kingdom. I'm excited for a full day at Magic Kingdom, but I'm sad that the trip is coming yeah. to an end because that's always like the worst part, right? Yeah. Is like when the trip is coming to an end. But with that being said, we love you guys so much and we will see you first thing tomorrow at Magic Kingdom. Yeah. It's a brand new day, hey.